You are what I'm looking for. Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Chop It Up inspired project for you. I haven't created a Chop It Up video in quite some time and I had a really cool idea and I wanted to share it with you because I love 12 by 12 papers. I have an unhealthy, sickening amount of these papers and I just keep buying them so I need to come up with more ways to use them. So for today I'm gonna to be using the Aquarelle I can't pronounce that. Aquarelle Dreams by Prima Marketing. And this is a gorgeous double-sided 12 by 12 paper. I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm working on a project with this paper pack right now. And there's part one. I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. Um, part one is out already. Part two will be coming soon. And it's using products from the Aquarelle Dreams pattern paper pack. So for today, I'm going to create a project and uh, I need a piece of pattern paper to create this. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna show you how to chop up this 12 by 12 paper to create a really fun project. So first up, I'm gonna trim this down to 12 by 12 because there's that little extra strip there. I need to get rid of that. So I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and I'm gonna trim this down to 12 inches. We'll get rid of that little strip up top. And then I'm gonna cut it again at six inches. Now I want my papers to be sort of, its orientation to be this way. So I'm gonna turn it and cut it at six inches. Okay. So we're going to get two projects out of one 12 by 12 sheet. So that's really fun. All right, so we're gonna need the trimmer back in a second, but now I'm gonna grab my scoreboard and we're gonna score this paper. So you need to figure out which part you want to be sort of the front and which part you want to be a pocket. And you'll see how that makes sense here in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just worried about cutting off my little hummingbird, but if it gets cut off, it gets cut off. Anyways, so first we're going to take a scoring tool and we're gonna score this at three and a half inches, okay? And flip it over and do three and a half inches there as well. Okay, so now you've got two pieces that measure three and a half inches. And, hmm. I need to figure out which way I want this to be. So no matter what I do, I think I'm gonna lose that hummingbird. But that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one side and fold it in and crease that fold. Okay, and then take the other side, fold it in and crease that fold. Okay, so so far you have a little something that looks like this, okay? Now we're gonna go back to our paper trimmer and we're gonna close the one side. So with this project, you can have it open this way and then have a pocket here, or you can have it open this way and have a pocket here, okay? Now I wanna keep this sort of as my, my main focus. So I'm gonna take my paper trimmer this will all make sense in a minute. I'm going to cut away one inch off the top, but I'm gonna stop at this piece here. So I'm just gonna cut in my trimmer. I'm gonna pop it in at one inch, and I'm gonna cut, take my scoring blade all the way until we meet that score line right there, okay? And I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna grab my scissors, and I'm gonna cut this piece away. Okay? So that's it, just like that. So this is gonna fold in and be a pocket, and then this is gonna be on the outside. And you'll see what this is gonna what this is gonna turn into in a minute. So now you could also do this, actually. Actually, I like that better. 
I'm going to keep this as my front. I like, I like this image the most. So I kind of flipped around. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in and this is going to be my pocket and this is going to be a tag. So this is going to be a piece of ephemera that you can put, um, in a journal, uh, or you could use this as like a card and pop in a gift card inside of here, write a little personal message on the inside, whatever you want to do. But um, let's finish making this. So I'm going to crease these folds. Okay. Now there are a few ways that you can turn this into a tag. Okay. So you can cut off the corner, use that guide, flip it over, and use it to cut off the corner. You can measure. Um, you can take a pencil and use a grid mat or ruler and mark, you know, sort of where you want this, how big of a tag you want it to be, or how small. So, for example, I could mark it one square and one square and use a, a ru or use my scissors and line it up to where those marks are. So, for example, I could do this, make a mark, make a mark, then take my scissors and line it up like that and make a cut. Or you can use a tool that helps you create tags. Now this one uh, I picked up off of Amazon and you just basically pop your little corner in and it creates a tag. So there are multiple ways to do that. Um, I'm going to do this way because I think I can get the right angle that I want. So I'm going to mark at sort of one inch or one, sorry, half an inch in and one little square on my grid mat. And then I'm going to come in and count two squares down on my grid mat. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to mark at one grid square in and two grid squares down. Okay. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to line up to those marked areas and cut. Okay. Do the same thing here. I'll line my scissors up to those marked areas and cut. Okay. Now I have some pencil marks that I need to remove. Just take those off. They're not super noticeable because this pattern is a little busy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is create a pocket out of this. I'm going to apply some adhesive here and here to close this into a pocket. But before I do that, I'm going to punch a little thumb notch out of this pocket. So I just kind of eyeball it, punch the center there. And then I feel like this needs a little bit of distressing to help like um, identify the edges there. So I'm going to grab some ink. I think I'm going to use Distress Ink, but I'm going to use a not-so-ideal uh, color. I'm going to use a different color than I would normally use. So I'm going to use Distress Oxide Ink Wilted Violet. So I'm going to ink up my dauber here and just sort of distress the edges. And you'll see the difference that that makes. It really outlines that pocket area there. So I'm going to make that a little bit thicker. A little bit more intense. That's really pretty. Okay, and it matches the patterns of the paper very, very well. Okay, so I'll come back and I'll do a little bit more of that. But let's get this glued down. I've got some liquid glue here. And I'm just going to apply a little strip of liquid glue here and here. Okay. Fold in my little flap and press this down. Okay. So now we have a little spot where if we were going to use this as a, as a gift card or something, we could slide our card in there. See, I have a gift card, for example. We could slip that right in there into our little pocket. Or you could slip a journal card or something like that inside. Let's see, I have these little tags that sort of coordinate with it. This is a Recollections tag package that I picked up on clearance at Michael's one day. And this would actually match nicely got a lot of the same color palette. 
so you could slip a tag in there or something like that. Super cute little journaling tuck. Okay, and then for here, we're going to punch a hole. I'm going to punch a hole in the center here. And I've got some, I have one left, one little eyelet. I need to pick up some more. And I'm going to pop that into my tag and use my crocodile to set that in. Okay, there we go. Look how pretty that looks. Super cute. All right. Next, I want to put some ribbon through there. I've got this really pretty organza ribbon. Let's see if we can get this through there. So I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and I'm going to create a little sort of point that I can slip through my eyelet. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to open that up, grab my two little tails, slip it through that little hole, and then pull. Now, I always don't know which way is backwards. I don't know if that's backwards or if that's backwards, but whatever. It is what it is. That's cute. I like that. And we'll just shorten these a bit. Let's go the other way. That's cute. Okay, there we go. Now you have this cute little tag and you could embellish it or um, you know, put a little personal message on the inside, slip something inside of here. These are great little ephemera pieces for books. You can, I have um, a junk journal sort of book in progress here. This is something I'm working on that needs to be completed. So basically what you can do is glue this down inside of your book and you can glue in one side and sort of leave the top open to tuck things in behind, or you could tuck things here, whichever which way you have it on your book. Or if you turned it this way, you can leave this side open over here, like this, and slip it in. And then you have this cute little secret little pocket. Super pretty. Okay, so let's distress this a little bit. I'm just going to sort of outline those edges. This color really um, coordinates nicely with this paper. I really love that. I do hate that I lost that hummingbird, but uh, sacrifices have to be made sometimes for, you know, pretty things. So for this um, paper pack, there's some ephemera that comes with it. You could decorate a little bit more if you wanted, but I'm going to stop there for this project. So, as I mentioned, you can get two of these out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. Let's make this one very quickly, see what we can come up with. So three and a half, and rotate, three and a half. I actually have another idea while I'm playing here. Let's try it. So it's a similar idea but without the pocket. So I'm going to take my paper and line it up and we're going to cut away the one inch. But I'm not going to cut from from this part or from this part. I'm only going to cut from the center. So let's see what that looks like. I line it up into my trimmer and I'll drop my blade down where that score mark is and cut across to the second score mark and then just take my scissors and trim this away. And now we can turn this into two tags. I'm just going to straighten this out. So let's take our pencil and make our marks at one and two and one and two 
and do the same thing over here. So you could have it go like that. You could flip it this way, have it go like that. You could even glue this part down onto the book and leave this part open so it does that. So you create like a Z fold in your book. That's cute. And then for in here, we kind of need, you can create a little belly band or um, sort of a pocket area here where you could slip in a little notepad, glue that down on the sides and slip your notepad in there. I'll kind of show you what I mean. And just trim this up. So there's a million different ways that you could do this. Obviously, you know, if you just uh, sit down in your crafty space and pull out some tools and some paper and play around and see what you can come up with. So these ideas um, I had by doing just that, coming and sitting down in my crafty space, uh, playing around, and, uh, and this is what I came up with. Super fun. So let's say, for example, that this is a book. We need to open it up. So if this were a book, we could take our little book and slip it in like that. And it would be a little notepad inside of here that you could add to a journal or whatever and create some fun pockets in here. We got some scraps left over and we can kind of glue them in like this kind of sideways and tuck things inside of there like gift cards or whatever like that. That would be fun. So there's just so many things, and these are just the scraps left over from cutting down my papers, so you can use those to your advantage too. So, let's go ahead and uh, distress these guys up a bit, just because I really like the color of this oxide ink on this paper. It really helps it to boost that color palette. I really like it. It's almost like making the paper glow. That will be it for our Chop It Up Inspired Project video. So this is just a quick project. If you didn't have any sort of ideas of things to create in your crafty space, but you want to craft, this is something that you could do. You could go through, find a bunch of pretty patterns, and uh, make some fun ephemera out of them by cutting the papers down and... and uh, Glue them together, see what sort of little fun folds and tucks and pockets that you can create with your pattern paper. There we go. Super cute. Chop It Up Inspired Project. So I have a video that I've been working on. I mentioned this earlier um, of the Prima Marketing Aquarelle Aqua, aqua, <laughs> aquarelle dreams paper pack and I'm creating a, a recipe book using this paper and some other products in my craft room and I'm going to be using this home for the holidays by photo play stamp and I'm going to be creating recipe cards to go inside of my book so this is something that um, you could use these little tags for. You can create little recipe cards to tuck inside of this book. I'm not sure like how much of it we could use, but you might need some bigger cards or something to slip inside, but I'm going to be using this to create that project, so keep an eye out for that, and I most likely will incorporate these uh, beautiful tag projects in that book as well, because it will match and it will be lovely. All right. 
So that's it for today's video. Thank you for stopping by to check out my Chop It Up inspired project. I hope that you'll get some inspiration and get crafty in your space and see what you can come up with. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed the content here today and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Coming up on screen is a video I think you may enjoy. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!